Hi, I'm Randy King, President and CEO and author of several performance enhancement companies, and I'm excited to be here at this school to talk to all of you students about several projects that I have recently accomplished and obviously has been moving forward with with a lot of excitement. I did not grow up to be where I'm at today, uh, going to many, many different high schools, as a matter of fact, five, uh, not doing well at 13 years of age and being the only child. School and life was really not, not too good for me and quite difficult. And so that's why today and for the last couple years, I have reached out to our school systems and our community to make sure that our future leaders, you, understand what you have to do today to make sure that we continue the greatness of America and move the legacy where it needs to be. Now I have recently written my seventh book which is titled Left Center Right, What is Best for America? And what I'm excited about this book is it really talks about four areas within our doing well in America. I am committed to help our young people as I have to do well in any economic uh, times that we are into because it really depends on your attitude and your commitment to, to excellence. But there are four areas this book does cover when you do uh, read through the book. First and foremost, it covers our personal and professional success. Without building our foundation and understanding where we're going to go in life, it doesn't happen as easily as it can if you have those two areas de developed and also put in place. We talk about the third area, which basically is success in politics. It's very important for you as young Americans to understand how your elected officials stand on issues that are very important to you. Don't get caught up in the Republican, Democratic, or Independent system. Get caught up in what's best for America, because it really truly is in your hands. And the fourth thing that we do talk about is I talk about success among you. I have the greatest achievements by teenagers in American history. I have what young people, first grade through eighth grade, think about what it's like to be an American and where America's going to go based on the current path that we're on. So it all does start with you. I hope you'll enjoy my book, but let me read you 10 things that I do have within my book that I think will hit home as they have to me. First of all, as we talked about, you are the future. 10 things that you can do to do well, not only in America, but also in your current school system. Number one, be all that you can be at what it is that you do. I didn't think that I would be where I'm at today, and whatever it is that I do, I give it 110%. I don't quit. A lot of my friends have not been successful because they have a tendency not to stay with one thing and have what I call true stickativity. All tough things are, t are, are tough, and then they become easy. That's what success is about. Number two, work hard on yourself so you can help others. What I enjoy about my life is I've had the ability to not only have success but also pass that success on to others. And that's going to be your job because the greatest gift that I have been able to bestow on people is a gift of helping them achieve whether it's personally or professionally. Number three, dream big. If you don't, you never know. I have school teachers that have told me that I would never amount to anything. As a matter of fact, my 12th grade school teacher is still alive, and I was on a radio show about a year ago talking about my sixth book that came out. He happened to call me and said, Randy, I never would have imagined that you would be an international, national, best-selling author. I kind of told him, well, I guess you were wrong, and we had, a good we had a good chuckle about it. Number four, stay in school. Learn and understand. Knowledge is power, folks. It really is. Without that education, the future is not going to be what you need it to be. Number six is one of my pet peeves. Never, ever, ever give up. Keep going. Things are tough for a reason, trust me. Number seven, my favorite. If you can ever remember anything that I've taught you, remember your three C's. They will serve you well in your personal life and your professional life. And they are character communication, and a commitment to excellence. Do all that you can do at every time of the day. When you're in school, why not get A's? Why settle for C's? Why settle for B's? Why not get A's? 
Uh, number eight, be a person of caring for all. There are a lot of people out there that are really looking for you to show up and tell them sometimes that you really care about how they feel and listen to people sometimes. Sometimes we get so caught up in our own stuff that we can't slow down enough to listen to other people, what they're saying to us, because we could possibly save somebody when they're in trouble. Number nine, love and respect your parents. Those that teach you and those that are around you are trying to give you a message. Everybody can teach you something if you just settle down and listen to what they have to say, and then you can have the knowledge to be able to determine if you like it or not like it. That's the wonderful thing about America, to be able to think for yourself. And finally, put God in your life. God will never leave you. God has been in my life for many years uh, and has served me well through good times as well as bad times. But always remember, you are special. And we're waiting for you to show up because some of you one day will be sitting here behind the camera and talking about your seventh best-selling book. God bless America and go out and get them. Thank you.